On this episode of Mythbusters, Mirza and Nejad are testing if hydraulic brakes are better than mechanical brakes in terms of braking distances. Advantages of a hydraulic system are that it requires less lever effort and it's sealed system so dirt can get in there. Whereas on cable, the dirt can get in there and jam it up. While mechanical brakes are more reliable and consistent in braking, and the overall simplicity of the system just goes in their favor. So let's hop in the driver's seats and find out. Here we have Mirza with his hydraulic braking GT. And Najad with his mechanical braking specialized. To test the needed braking distance of both bikes, they will be going 20 km per hour and will start braking at the marked spot over there, after which we will measure the braking distances. Because they want to be scientific, each will repeat the process three times. Mirza will be going first. He launches off the start line, develops the speed of 20 km per hour, approaches the spot and brakes. In his first try, it took him 296 centimeters to stop from the speed of 20 kilometers per hour. In his second try, he rounded it to 2 meters. And the third and final one, 169 centimeters. Let's see how Nejad will do it. He's all lined up, pedals, develops the speed. His first try is significantly better, with a distance of 203 centimeters. Let's see the second one. 180, he's getting close. And in his third try, it took him 194 centimeters to stop. From this we can conclude that mechanical disc brakes are significantly more consistent in braking distances than hydraulic brakes. But the math here is clear. Mirza and his hydraulic disc brakes show to be better in stopping distances, winning by 11 centimeters over Najad. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you 